All right, welcome back to our Let's Play of the Human Starter Zone. We are in part two. We are in Goldshire, and we have a bunch of quests to pick up. There's always a ton of people in this little town. Marshall Duggan. <clears throat> the Fargo Deep Mine. The Fargo Deep Mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, and then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and the McClure homesteads. Heroes Call. That is for Westfall. Go with honor, friend. Which is our next zone, so we'll untrack that. Smith Argus. What can I do for you? Elmore's task. <clears throat> There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimald Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. I believe he wants to package uh, sent to his homeland in the north. If you have a sturdy pair on you, you have a sturdy pair on you. So if you're interested in some legwork, then speak with Grimwald. We can use you down here, and we must keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimwald Elmore at the weapon shop of the Dwarven District of Stormwind. For the Alliance. <clears throat> a swift message. Although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Ulrich Strang. His shop, Limited Immunity, is on the old town of Stormwind. Our supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact uh, Osric for more. Can you take this note to him? The fastest way to Stormwind is through the Barlet, uh, through Barlet the Brave, our Griffin Master. See you around. Okay, so we got some quests to take us to Stormwind. I think for now we're going to untrack those. Uh, we got somebody else over here. <clears throat> That's a pet trainer. We don't care about a pet trainer. Has nothing to do with the story. We got somebody over here. Remy two times. Good day to you. A fishy peril. Author, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swarming up the streams of eastern Elwyn. Uh, scarring away, scaring away fish and attacking the gentlefolk. I warned Marshall Duggan that he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the murlocs are a danger. Please, author, speak to Duggan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. Gold dust exchange. The kobolds in these parts are sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it. And I'll give you the best price in town. The best price in town. You can find cobalts in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south and around the Jasper Load Mine to the northeast. Have a good one. Okay. So we'll go back and speak to Duggan. Need help? There's somebody on a big old dragon's right in my way. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant. Though all reports of the murlocs to the east have been as sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report for a war for a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. Further concerns. If you are concerned about the rumors of the murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the east at Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. I have a Stormwind Charger that will take you to the Guard Thomas. Let me know when you wish to make use of the horse, okay? For the Alliance. <coughs> so, let's go in here, make our inn. Uh, talk to the innkeeper, make our inn here, talk to the few quest givers in this area. You need something? Rest and relaxation. Um... Safe travel. That's the quest we picked up. Let's you? make this our See home so we can teleport back here. Let's talk to William Pestle. You need something? Cobalt candles. Hello, good sir. Do you have a moment? 
my brother and I <clears throat> ran an apothecary in Stormwood, and I'm sure, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get a large candles from the kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are interested, are, inf are infested at the Elwyn mines. The Fargo Deep Mine into the south, into the Jasper Load Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. See you around. All right. So good we came in here because that's a quest we will want to do. Okay. Let's look at our map here and plan. So I think we do the kobolds, and then we need to remember to talk to Duggan um, for the horse ride to the Murlocs. The other quest over there is a pet battle, which we don't care about. Well, I don't care about. It's not my thing. I mean, not the best time to play through Elwyn when, um, the, yeah, the Dark Moon Fair just started today. It's like a, I think it's a couple times a year event. I never really mess with it, but everybody always comes around some kind of special event. All right, so we need to get the gold dust from the cobalts and the large candles. And we need to scout through the Fargo Deep Mine, which looks to be right below us here. So we'll go ahead and go into the mine since we have to scout it. All right, got to level up and we got consecration consumes the land beneath you causing 21 holy damage. This is our first AOE ability, which does damage to multiple things around us. We need to kill basically everyone we see. There's lots of players around. There's a worgen. And level 24. Is he a death knight? He is a death knight. I didn't know death knights could be in the starting zone. That's cool. That must be new. Well, we did the scouting. It's too far away. You know, take handle. All right, so we need three more of those, and we need six more of the gold dust. Okay. So head kind of back out towards the exit. Is this an exit or does this go deeper? Looks I need to, to be. Get oh, it's just taking me deeper. I think we'll head out. Because I'm sure there's more of these outside. Yeah. At least I hope so. There must be two... Is there two entrances? Yeah. Well, maybe I should have done that. Alright, we need gold dust. Gotta kill a lot of these poor dudes. In uh, Warcraft, if you tag the mob, you can share the loot, so I'm not stealing that from that guy. Nor is he stealing it from me, as long as I can tag it. There's a character up there, so probably she's killed them all. So I need to head back down. 
That's kind of why I don't like <clears throat> starter zones that are really populated, because it's hard to find all of the things you need. There's so many people around. All right, that's what we need. Uh, let's see. Would it be better? We're really not far. <clears throat> Considering Hearthstoning back, but we're really not far. So we'll go back. To Goldshire. Yeah, my cooldown will be... 30 minutes. Well, honestly... I mean, in 30 minutes, I'll be questing, and it might be on cooldown by that point. Alright. Let's talk to William Pestle. Hey there. You were busy hunting kobolds. <clears throat> Thanks for the candles, author. And here's your reward. We got a belt. A visit with Maybell. You seem like the helpful type, author. How about going to an old man a favor? The last time I was over at the McClure Vineyards, I overheard Maybelle crying in her cottage. Would you be so kind as to check up on her? I'm a little worried. Safe travel. <clears throat> okay. That takes me way to the south. All right, so we'll talk to Duggan. <clears throat> well then. This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near the mine. Thanks for your efforts, author. And hold the moment. I might have another task for you. The Jasper Load Mine. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need to scout the investigation the more distant Jasper Load Mine. Explore Jasper Load Mine and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north, and you'll find the mine. Light bless you. Okay. So, let's... That is the flight master. Let's talk to Remy, because we need to return a quest to him. How are you? Thanks for the dust, author. Here's your cash, and here's the token from my associates of mine. You might find it useful. See you later. All right, so we got a new belt. We got wrist belt. What is the... Is that better? One arm or better. Not really anything to write home about. Okay, so if we talk to the Duggan, I think he will take us on Greetings. a horse. I wish to ride to Storm and Charger, sir. Be careful. Is he going to take us where we need to go? I wonder if this is a new quest or this was... I don't think this is the original. Only in, like, recent-ish. Like, cataclysm. So we need to go talk to Guard Thomas. We gotta get a good view of the forest. Lots of really nice trees. Lots of wolves. There's a watchtower. That the watchtower he said to pass and then travel north. Don't remember. Look at all these guards. A lot of knights. This would have been one stinking long walk. Alright. You gonna dismount? Thank you. Alright, Guard Thomas. Daughter, friend. Hello, citizen. You look like the man with a purpose. Do you have business with the Stormwind army? Further concerns. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of the eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here. But they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. Find the lost guards. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Micaiah, 
to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned to complete my report. I must know what happened to these men. Travel north along the river and find the guards or their remains. Or the alliance. Protect the frontier. Hail author. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive. The father <clears throat> we get from Goldshire and the East Vale lodging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out there. Be careful. We have a bounty board. Bounty on Murlocs. <coughs> Excuse me. The Stormwind Army has a placed has placed a bounty on Murloc lurkers and foragers in Elwyn. Slaughter them and bring guard Thomas their torn Murloc fins, and the Stormwind Army will reward you. The Murlocs have built a village at Stone Carn Lake, north of here, and another to the south where the stream folds. Wanted, James Clark. By degree of the Stormman Army, a bounty has been placed on the head of James Clark. Clark is wanted for a robbery, burglary, arson, and murder. He is also a suspect in the kidnapping and disappearance of the Blackwell's prized pig, Princess. James Clark was last seen heading towards the Eastville logging camp. Bring James Clark to justice and report to Marshal Peterson at the Eastville logging camp. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're. I think we are going to head across the bridge to the logging camp. Then we will pick up the flight master. Actually, let's go up here, scout the Jasper Load Mine. Then we'll come down to the Lost the Lost Guards. Yes. And then we'll come do these, and because then we can take the flight back to Goldshire. Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll be the best use of time. It's like a random cow out here. Look at that. Yep, we can kill wolves along it's too the way. Far away. Now that we have our big AOE ability, we can pull everything. And then hit Consecration. Do damage to everybody. And if we get in a sticky situation, we'll be fine because we can heal. Very nice. I'm out of range. It's always better to group up mobs. A little faster. Alright, we'll keep heading down this way. Pick off any predators that we see. Word of Glory calls down the light to heal a friendly target. That's an instant heal, I think. Oh, a half-eaten body. Although much has been stripped from the corpse, strewn nearby is a medallion with the words Footman Macaulay, stone etched upon it. I think it was Macalia. Discovered Rolf's fate. Upon further searching the area, you find webbed footprints leading east along the shore the stone carn lake and the distance to the east you can just barely see a murloc village perhaps rolf's fate ended there okay so we need to go i guess check that out swim i guess yeah i guess we'll go there i don't have a target then we can go back across i want to do that while i'm out here All right, we need to kill some Murlocs. I need to get closer. And get their torn fins. And then, oh, we found the corpse of Rolf. It looks like. Uh, you find you find around the neck of the corpse a metal medallion inscribed with the words Footman Rolf Hartford. Report to Thomas. Now that you have both medallions, 
deliver them to guard Thomas at the bridge so that he might know the fate of his murdered guards. Now that's sad. I'm out of range. I need a target. Murlocs are killing him and eating him. All right, we'll swim across. Let's go. Let's go around the shore. And get Murlocs as we go. I need to get closer. Loot him because we need torn fins. Yeah, and then we'll go around to that tower. He was gonna drink a potion. That's crazy. It's too far away. All right. That's good. That's good. I'm out of so. range. Might be a little. Might be a bit much. I don't have any damage reduction. I will be fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have that. But the instant heal, we're definitely not going to be in danger. Should be it, okay. So, let's swim a little bit here. Now, we can hit some of the bears and wolves. Then we'll head to the tower, and then we'll come around and talk to the guard Thomas and deal with the loggers, maybe. I need to get All right, we're at the Jasper Load Mine. Looks like it is also invested I'm with cobalts. Looks like we need to go in a little bit. Yep. Alright, so that is pretty much what we need to do there. So now we need to head back to guard Thomas. And we need to kill five more bears, and we need... Um, I think we'll do the wanted at the logging company. I think that'll be the next uh, group of quests. Alright, we are heading back to guard Thomas. Turn these quests in. What can I do for you? Report to Thomas. Hello, author. Have you discovered the fates of Rolf and Melkaya? You have confirmed my fears, author. The Murlocs are a threat we can no longer ignore. Cloth and leather armor. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a maker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the East Vale logging camp. Give her the mass. Uh, give her the marker, and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, author, use it in the defense of Elwyn. Eastville is just east of this post, across the bridge. Protect the frontier. Thanks a lot for your help, author. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. So we get a new chess piece. You have the fins. Great. Marshall Duggan is anxious about the Murloc situation in the eastern Elwyn, and I'd like it to tell him that it's becoming that it's becoming under control. 
Your actions have helped realize that. All right. Go with honor, friend. All right. So we'll pick up the uh, next episode across the bridge at the logging company in the next episode.